Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Brenna and we are just getting on with this vlog. We are just doing the thing. I never know how people really start their vlogs, but here we go, starting mine. I have a lot of work this week, so I don't really know how much vlogging I'll do, but I'm gonna try my best and I'm gonna try and slay it. So come along with me. Come on, let's go. Okay, I was supposed to leave for work um, four minutes ago, but I wanted to show you guys my cute little outfit, my funny little cute outfit. So I have those leggings, I mean, uh, tights and these black non-slip shoes. They're from Adidas. I don't know if they're non-slip, but they work pretty well. Um, these little shorts that I got from Old Navy and my little top. Eee, you look how cute. Okay. Well, I have to go and wish me the luck. I doubled today, so I don't know if I'll get much footage, but I love you. Hello, how are you? The menti green tea, um, brown sugar, oat milk, shake and espresso as well. I am pretty much ready for work. I am doing pigtails today because I bruised my neck doing my lymphatic drainage today. Which is literally like not a sleigh. But it happened and it's so sus. And hopefully my little pigtail gets it right. I'm also gonna wear my jacket. It's just hoping to do like something like this. That works. Okay. Chinese medicine and things like that so he just gave me a treatment and I actually feel a lot better and like more ready to take on my day which is quite an improvement I also this is interesting I just got this product from the brand face reality which I've never heard of but it's a hydro balance hydrating gel apparently and it is like a gel consistency but I've been really struggling this winter with dry skin and whenever I went to my facial last month the acetation also said my skin looks dehydrated and I've been struggling because I drink a lot of water and I'm like upping all of my moisture like using my moisturizer and my summer Fridays jet lag mask and my skin just is still a little bit dry. So we're gonna test this out. I might try and curl my hair, actually. That's for the little vloggy vlog. Get your hand out of there. <gasps> Amory, his wet, his hand is wet. And now that is what I call disgusting. <sighs> You guys came up here to hang out with me? Mm-hmm. It's awfully sweet of you. Emery, you want to wash your, wash your hands? Yes, he does. Yeah, if you ever want to use my heat tool, you totally can. Thanks, Lisa, I have one of my own already. 
Not that brand, but. Well, if you ever want to use one of mine, Britain. Hey, Marie. Maybe she just went twirl it away from your face. Not necessarily. <laughs> away. What was your other package of? Um, this actually. What is that? Little, it's only twenty-six dollars. So I thought, well, why not? Give it a try. Yeah, I've been really struggling with dry skin. Summer Fridays. Okay. Here I am again in my outfit. Looks cute. I think. Um. Looks cute. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna need a cough drop because a little bit of a sickness going on for some reason. But today is my day upstairs with the boss of the bar, the bar manager. Okay, one thing that I did want to mention really quick is that um, curling iron was good. I was starting to get the hang of it. I don't know why my underneath curls always fall. Like you can still see a little bit of a thing to it, but they don't really ever stay. So who knows? I do like the curling iron. As recommended, well, I asked... Maddie, my hairdresser, I always talk about her, but I asked her if she likes it. She says it's the best, and she's had hers for like six years, and it's a slay. So, this is the one inch. But I'm just gonna fill my water and then probably head to work so I can slay. Thanks. Good morning. I mean, hi. Good evening. I am back from work. It was my first time working on the upstairs bar, and I don't want to toot my own horn, but I think I did a great job. Um, I don't know, it was super fun and really busy. I mean, busy enough, and <clears throat> it was honestly awesome. <laughs> I felt like I was able to get a lot of hands-on experience and I made a lot of cocktails and met some of the regulars, which was nice. Um, and it was honestly a really good time. And I can't wait to continue to learn more and work on my skills and stuff like that. Also, one thing that I wanted to say was, um, I don't know if this is like a trend for anybody else, but I've been hearing this message a lot lately of listen to the words people are saying and not the emotion behind them just so like if someone's like yeah i'm doing awesome thanks for asking don't like interpret their tone of voice as like some true reflection of how they're feeling you need to take everything at face value obviously like if someone's not okay like you should help them out but if it's like just drama and stuff like that, I think you're better off just listening to the words that they say opposed to the emotion connected to. My face is feeling really actually pretty supple. I don't know if it's because of the hydro balance, but I'll definitely give you guys out here. This is my third time using it. I just used it for the third time and I'm loving it so far. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated. I'm going to be in bed before 10 tonight, which is honestly... So I'm working a lot this week, which is why there's not a lot of out and out content, but I still want to post one vlog a week and we will just see how that goes this month as a test. Well, I'm really tired and I'm ready to get into bed, so good night. I don't know what I'm curious about. What your paint? I threw it off my chair. And it went on the wall. It went all over the day. Like, oh, damn. No. Oh. Hey. Oh. So, are you ready to paint or are you ready to paint?
because why not? And I also think it would be fun to look back on and see how it changes and things like that. But for the past like year, almost a year I would say, I have been using this got to be glued eyebrow well ultra glued um invisible styling gel for your hair but i've been using it for my eyebrows and i love how it looks i did try soap before but i don't know i found that i just like this one better it does sometimes leave like a shiny residue on the skin around my eyebrows though so i have to make sure i wipe it off if i care that much sometimes i don't because sometimes i don't really care but <laughs> I don't know. I love this and I've honestly like not plucked my eyebrows in so long. Like I'll pluck like in between them and the low hair is down here but I haven't honestly touched them in a really long time. And then I use whatever is left on my spoolie to comb these crazy baby hairs down that never go down. While that's drying and my skincare is just settling in. I got my package from Amazon of my new hairspray that has heat protectant in it. Authentic beauty is real and honest, purpose driven. What we leave out is just as important as what we put in. Performance driven vegan formulas, free from microplastics, mineral oil, parabens, and silicones. Sometimes I just don't really know what I'm buying until I buy it. Let's see how it smells. My hairspray. Okay, now for my like base, I just use the, look how much, like my writing is completely off, but just the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I don't really need like a lot of coverage personally. Um, I don't really like how full coverage foundations look on me, so this just gives the coverage that I personally like best on myself. But as I was saying, I woke up in a really happy mood, like, Usually when I wake up, I feel pretty tired and like that's like my first thought is like, oh, I'm tired. But I woke up and I was happy today, which felt really good. Because I don't know the last time that I like woke up and like really was like, oh my god, I feel so happy. Also, this has made my face feel super bouncy. Like my skin has felt super bouncy and hydrated. Like when I wake up in the morning, I would mostly feel like the dryness in my forehead area and I haven't been feeling that so I'm really excited to keep using that product and see how it works. This is my Fenty Beauty Matchstick. I think this means it's foundation. I bought this while I was in high school so it's time to retire but I'm pretty close to being done so I'm just going to try and finish it and use it. Whenever I put my contour on I put it on like my actual cheekbone instead of underneath like this is underneath and I'll put it, um, and then this is new, but I've been using my Sephora Pro Foundation Brush to blend out my contour. I used to use my hands. I think it does the same thing, but I've just been really reaching for the brush lately. And I also love Sephora brushes. They are my favorite brushes to use. And whenever I do my foundation, or my contour, I know this probably isn't like correct, but I like to kind of like spoof it like to my cheeks. That's not correct, but I just do it how I like to do it, so. Also, one of my other faves have been, I'm just all about my faves lately. I got this little trio from Rare Beauty uh, whenever they were having their support annual sale, and I've used all the blushes so far, but I've kind of been avoiding this happy blush because it's like super bright pink. But I honestly have also really been into this. And I'll just use this Morphe angled brush that I got for Christmas a couple years ago to push the product in. And I kind of keep it like on the higher part of my cheekbone and focus it there. And then I'll bring like whatever is remaining on the brush up to my cheek the apples on my cheek i think that's what it's called but it's a super fun bright color and i love it next i take this mac medium plus mineralized skin finish natural in the last like six months to eight months i found that whenever i apply it with a damp beauty blender like underneath my eye it totally changes the appearance appearance 
like maybe I'm crazy, but I love the way it just like smooths out my under eye and add some coverage and this is why i don't feel like i need like a fuller coverage proper foundation because i'll just take like whatever on my face doesn't have blush or contour on it i will just set that with this powder and it basically just acts together as the coverage that i like so around the chin and jawline area Sometimes I like to use this little Charlotte Tilbury blush, but I also got this during the Sephora sale And I didn't reach for it too much. I think I Was reaching for it in around Halloween, but I kind of fell off and I've been using it for the past few weeks And I also love it. It's so dewy and I think the color is kind of precious This is my Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer in 102. I don't think that Marc Jacobs makes makeup anymore actually which is kind of sad. I'm on the nose for a little bit of color. And then on the high points of my face, Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. This is a Sonia Kashuk eyelash curler. I don't think that it slays, but it gets the job done. So I honestly like wouldn't really know what a great eyelash curler looks like. Ouch. This is my Ilia Fullest Volumizing Mascara. I've been using this for a little bit. I got the tester first, which worked out, and I liked it, so. Sometimes I'll set with blush, powder blush. This is NARS Orgasm X, hello. The last thing that I like to do is Take some of my bronzer and I blend out my uh, any mascara that I got on my eye so I don't have to fuss with it and like clean it up. And that's what I do. And usually for work, I just carry like, I have a linen uh, that Laneige pink tube of lip balm that I'll put on or I have the road one. I don't really like do lips at work or anything. Okay, I have a long day ahead of me, so I'm gonna have one of these live organic immunity boost shots. I don't even know if I was in the clip and I was saying that, but dumb hatch, ginger, and turmeric. I used to have these a lot in like 2020, but they kind of stopped. The Zynga. I have that like, why is it spicy? <laughs> that um, TikTok in my head. They're honestly better. You just take it all at once. I'm gonna take a little cherry limeade, poppy. Uh, I just had this one recently. This is my second time buying them. They're actually pretty delicious, but a little mid shift pick me up to make it like a little bit more fun. I might bring a little bit of creamer in this because my dad just bought this coffee that I cannot drink. It honestly tastes like poison. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna put these in the fridge at work. And by the fridge, I mean Ricky's cooler um, to keep them cold. And then I'll make myself like a French press or something when I get there because I didn't have any coffee this morning. But my Valentines are coming together so freaking cute. Just did a couple more this morning. So I did this one, these two. And this one, I think these are going to be for my mom and my sister, and then these are going to be for some other friends. But this is what they're looking like so far. And I, Claire, I'm thinking about putting and dumpling underneath because I kind of left like a little bit of space, but I hope no one sees this. And if they do, they ought to just act surprised. But I'm like literally the queen of hearts. I've hand painted all of these hearts. So, it's awesome, and it's fun and fresh and cute. Well, now that my hair is dry, I'm doing my makeup, and I thought I could update you guys on what we're doing today. So, basically, I am going to a Super Bowl party with Nicholas, and... It's his friend from soccer, and we're going to this guy's house that has a girlfriend, and, well, that's nice that he has a girlfriend, but 
he what i'm getting at is we're making friends as adults and i'm really excited to make friends like outside of avenues that we have originally made friends through and making friends as an adult is a little bit hard and challenging and i hope that today i am not like weird and i hope people like me and i'm going to try and have like a good mindset when i go into this so i won't be awkward and standoffish because i don't like when i'm like that so i think you guys know how it is but i'm super excited and it will be really fun i think and i don't really know who all is going to be there but it should be a sleigh i'm just doing some light makeup nothing too much because i don't want to appear as too much you know keep it cash and cool can i get a time check 325 oh shoot hmm. we have to go pick up the wings yeah it's okay i don't think i'll have time to do my hair you want to do the car curl my hair in the car yeah yes really no, I can't do that. I didn't know if you could Okay, let's do a little Whole Foods haul. I, I don't drink alcohol right now, so I got two little drinks so I can drink there. I always have my Stanley Cup, but I got this little poppy root beer. I haven't had this flavor before and i also got this ardor mexican lime drinky drink and i've had this before and i actually really like them so hopefully no it will be delicious and then i got this hand cream kind of because i have a literal dry patch on my neck and then i got this little assortment of sweet treats right here i got a little chocolate covered strawberry a cannoli this is my Chantilly cream mini cupcake, and then this one is Nick's um, Oreo cupcake. Just a little sweet treat for the vibes, and I love a sweet treat, and I'm nervous that there won't be any at the Super Bowl party, so I obviously needed to get my fix now. But I think we might go to Starbucks because we're ahead of schedule, and then go to Lou's, so let's go okay what's up guys this is the end of the today or this week's vlog um i've recorded this a couple of times and i've just looked at myself in the viewfinder the entire time and I also i like i told you guys how i spiked my eyebrows up with the got to be glued and i literally picked off like i have a bald spot in my eyebrow now because i picked the glue off or the um the eyebrow gel off hair gel which is quite funny and it just proves that you can't have it all, okay? You can't have it all. But the Super Bowl party was super fun yesterday. Lou and Amy did an amazing job hosting and it was honestly a vibe. It was super low key and we had a lot of fun and their house was very beautiful. I obviously didn't record because um, I don't know them that well and I'm new. So I didn't wanna like weird anybody out or anything but they did great. Um, be sure to, you know, subscribe to my channel if I'm going to continue my weekly vlogs. So I'm two for two now, which kind of feels like legitness, but we're going to keep it up. And my arm is starting to hurt because I've been recording for some time now. And I love you guys. Let's get to editing and have a great week. Bye. <laughs>